It's everything that makes Kingdom Hearts special in a Kingdom Hearts sense. There's the Disney mix with Merlin and Tron and Winnie the Pooh. Then there's the Final Fantasy with so many characters, it would be redundant for me to list them all. And of course, I cannot miss out on talking about the Cavern of Remembrance. It acts as the final true challenge for those looking to go above and beyond the post game, requiring players to max out all their drive abilities in order to successfully just navigate the place, while also throwing Sora in some of his most dangerous wild encounters yet. And it all leads up to the Garden of Assemblage. Here, Sora can face off against all 13 members of the organization, each with their own special abilities and mechanics to learn. Hollow Bastion or Radiant Garden rather is a world that is prevalent throughout the entire game. At the very beginning acting as a starting point for Sora's adventure, in the middle when the entire town is being attacked and everyone comes together to fight back, then at the very end with one of the beefiest post-game dungeons in the series. It's all quality throughout Kingdom Hearts 2. 